You know, one of the customs which is kept by virtually the entire world Jewish community this coming Wednesday night, as we begin Rosh Hashanah, as we welcome in the new year, is eating an apple with honey. What child doesn't know the song of dipping the apple in the honey? But after we dip that apple in the honey, we make a bracha, bore priya eats, we taste the apple in the honey, and we say a little prayer. We ask Hashem for a bracha to bless us. As we eat this apple, the sweetness of the apple with the sweetness of the honey, we ask Hashem that He should bless us with a shana tova umesuka, a year which is good and sweet. It seems that one of those words is superfluous. If something is good, certainly it seems to be sweet. If something is sweet, well, who doesn't like something which is sweet? Of course that's good. It's got to be a deeper meaning, a deeper understanding here. The Berkas Chaim explains to us that, in fact, if we take a look at two Gemaras, we might be able to understand why those two words are needed within that request to God. The Gemara in Brachas tells us that when something bad happens to a person, they are required to make a bracha to bless Hashem just like they would when something good happens to a person. An example of that is Rahman al God forbid, something bad happens to a person. For example, a close relative passes away. A person makes a bracha of Baruch Dayan HaEmes. The second Gemara that he quotes is the Gemara in Masechah's Tanis that tells us that when something bad happens to a person, a person should always say, Gam zu litova. This is too for the good. And the lesson from both of these Gemaras is that sometimes it's impossible for us to see that something with our eyes that seems to be bad is really good. In the eyes of Hashem and in His calculation, the divine calculation, in His way of running the world, something may appear to us at the moment to be bad, but in Hashem's mind, in Hashem's thought process, it's really good for us. And so, when it comes to the night of Rosh Hashanah and we ask Hashem, we make a request for this coming year. We ask Hashem to make it a year that is good and sweet. Good in our eyes and sweet in our eyes. Because we know that some, everything that happens is always good in Hashem's eyes. But sometimes even something that appears to be good in Hashem's eyes, in our eyes, may seem to be bad. It may be only later on in life that we could look back and see it as being good. It may not even be in our existence in this world that we look back at something and see it as being good for us. So we ask Hashem, please don't put us in a position that we should look at anything that happens to us, anything that He causes to happen to us as being bad. We only want, we request of Him only to allow us to be filled with a year which is good from his end, and in our eyes seems to be good as well. And so with that, I wish all of you a Shana Tova Umasuka, a happy, good, sweet new year for all of us and for all the Jewish people throughout the world. Thank you for listening. Kasiva Vachasimatova, Shana Tova, and a good Shabbos.